So it looks like the noise about the struggles of the Packers defense and what everyone out there on the internet is saying has reached Keyshawn Nixon because he came out a little bit earlier today and addressed the situation. He said this, So everybody Twitter coaches, laughy emoji, stay blessed. So it looks like he may not agree with what everyone out there is saying. The reality is that the Packers defense has been really, really bad the past two weeks, especially against Baker Mayfield on Sunday getting torched, having the you know the first time in, in Lambeau Field history, a, a opposing quarterback has a perfect passer rating. And so I think every single fan out there knows that clearly there is a big problem here that needs to be solved. And when you look at what's happening now, you know we see Devondre Campbell's tweet, which is somewhat cryptic. We don't know who he's talking about, who he's frustrated with. Maybe it's the fans, maybe it's the coaches. We don't know. But clearly, too, looking at this Keyshawn Nixon tweet, you know, the, the noise of the issues going on and what everyone is thinking has clearly reached the Packers locker room. I would assume that it would be hard for in moments like this where there's so much talk out there about the struggles of the Packers. It's probably hard if you are one of these players to completely block it out. I feel like the only way you could actually fully block out all the noise and all the distraction out there would be to not look at your phone whatsoever. Because if any of these guys log on to Twitter X, then you would assume that they would see What's going on? And I bet you there are some guys who, you know, scroll through Twitter to see what's going on, see what people are saying. And I think Keyshawn Nixon has at least seen uh, some of it. And I do wonder, like Keyshawn Nixon, I wonder what he thinks the issue is. I wonder if he is in line and, and sort of likes the way that Barry plays this defense, this soft zone coverage, you know, third and short, playing back, playing off, not playing very aggressive. Keyshawn Nixon feels like the kind of guy to me who, I mean, he plays aggressive, he plays physical. He wants to take the ball out pretty much every single time on his kickoff returns. And I would just bet that he doesn't like playing this soft kind of defense, in my opinion. I feel like he's the kind of guy who wants to get up there in a guy's face and really just you know, challenge them and, and play physical and play, intent, play tough. And so I do wonder what the current idea is from Packers players in regards to Joe Barry and the Packers defense and what has happened the past two weeks. Because I would assume they're also not happy. And who knows exactly who Keyshawn Nixon is referring to. Maybe he's talking about people who are specifically talking about his game. I don't know. Um, but I think that when you see all that's going on out there this week, we all know that something needs to be changed. Something needs to be fixed. The Packers players this past week were not put in the best position to succeed. They definitely had lots of miscues, lots of miscommunication, as Matt LaFleur himself has talked about. He's gone you know, as far to say that he needs to potentially go into that room and help with these basic communication um, things that are that are you know not going well so far, at least the past couple weeks. And so it's a mess right now in Green Bay for the defense. And I hope we can see something you know, turn for good this next week. And we're, we're facing off against Bryce Young, who has not been good, a Packers team or a Panthers team that has not been good. And you would assume that, you know, this past week against the Buccaneers, a team that was ranked 21st or 22nd in scoring at home at Lambeau Field, maybe you could have gotten back track on track there, but that was not the case. And so if the Packers defense puts up a similar performance for a third straight week against one of the worst teams in the NFL, I would imagine the noise will be taken to another level. And, um, you know, the players probably will be even more frustrated and who knows what will happen at that point. But I just wanted to share that information. If you guys want more Packers content like this, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time.